short for Renekton. So he gets his namesake on that one. And now with the final lock-in, Plugo grabs himself the Orianna. They have a pretty wicked... They don't always for long. Now we'll come down oh, on he's Rome. in. Oh, boy. Get the slow on to slow. Scout of the week, not going to connect. Two flashes burned and the power unleashed on top of a heal. And they're going to be able to secure it. Big Koro with the first blood. Big plays from Pallet to make up. Oh, see if he grabs it. No, gets nailed. Oh, flash forward. That's going to pull in, too. There's an unbreakable on and a teleport coming down for Ren. Fix and Flugo got to bail out. And there is not a whole lot of mana there. Let's see if Ren keeps going forward for the flash. A couple of Coles and Plugo, he's just trying to walk away, but he's got nothing else he can do. Cole in the meek. Ooh, doesn't get knocked by this guy of the week, but Pallet has swapped right on in, and Aul tries to go unleashing the power, and the barrel comes out to secure it up. Venus takes the kill, and you better believe Here. that. He's got no flash this time around. Montoraya, oh, there's the no, Righteous he Glory. He's almost under tower, flashing forward. My goodness, he hasn't been able to get the rupture just yet, but Montoraya, how far oh, does God. he want to go? And he goes a Naming. That's not even a level 11 Choga. This oh, Big Coral playing a dangerous game. Pallet on the front line, looking to get the stun off onto Fix. Rocket jumps away. Stun is out of range. Fail. And now we're into fights, baby. Now we're trying to get the deletion. He goes down, but he does take Fix with him. It's a one for one trade up top. Yeah, no, absolutely outplays him by Coral starting. LG see this one happening. There's a Glacial Fissure going to land on too, and they knock him back with the barrel. Unleash the power onto Slow. Oh, they get the stop off onto Ren for the oh, time no. being, and they cut their losses. Yeah, unfortunately for young generation, Ren's slice. Oh no, we've seen this one a few times, and Flugo unleashed the power on him, and they even scatter the weak. Oh, the shield oh, keeping no. him alive! And they got a wild growth on, now it's KLG's time to tag in. They pull back now, oh, and Fix has got one, looking for the reset. He even dodges out the Glacial Fissure, that's the double looking for Pallet. Unbreakable, how long will it be? And Fix is backed off for the push them back. Let's see if this young generation can make it happen. Looks but they've like got no secured. spike contest. I think it's going to happen. Teleport's on. And it even gets nommed by Mantaraya. That means Ren's going to cancel his TP. Yeah, they have to cancel it. And now they've caught Ren. Yep. And there's not a whole lot the Croc can do. Tearwolf is going to cut him off. And Fix is going to grab himself the third kill of the game. Looks like they're going to pull in now back in the mid. Oh, boy. Oh, but the Hunters become the Hunted. Here we go, Tearwolf on. Looking for Venus, gets the slow, gets the stun, and all of a sudden, the rest of KLG come knocking. The barrel comes out, but it's a party for Chaos Latin Gamers. Shut down, though. Big Coral no, got one. Flank. Now Naul, he's going to be able to get around the side, scattering the weak. YG getting a little bit low as Monteraya, Tearwolf turning. Blue go. Monteraya gets another eat off onto the support from Young Generation. Ren in the back line, but it's going to be Blue go flashing away, and Monteraya's doing double time with a double kill, looking for a third. Can he make it happen? It's Naul and Big Coro going down. That's the last man standing on Young Generation as Monterey is still going for the chase. He's looking for a righteous glory. Pretty easy to see them taking this one without anybody in the area from Young Generation and with how far behind they are. Would have been very difficult all the same. So Just the Nexus left. Young Generation, one last desperate attempt to try and save this game, but this tower is already starting to fall. That's one gone down. The fight is also going their way. Mantaraya tanking everything up, and he even gets a need off onto Ren, but Fix has got the final auto attack. Tearwolf tanking through the rest of the Young Generation damage. The final Nexus turret will fall, and soon to be the Nexus. These guys said they wanted to be the next Alvix Knox, and this is step one. GG for Chaos Latin Gamers. Honestly, just a very well-rounded and strong performance from the team as well. From start to finish, there was only the minor hiccups in the early game, but their vision was good. It was just the miscommunication of where they were going to be. They still got away from the gangs for the most part, and every single move after those mistakes looks like it was cleaned up. They play good League of Legends towards the end as well. No mistakes to be made. No opportunities for the Vietnamese side of Young Generation to come back. Yeah, and that's the thing. Especially at, at this stage, you, you don't often see some clean levels of play from emerging regions as well. And not to say that Violence Field, something that could do wonders against a champion like Zaya, something that can perhaps prevent a Jarvan from even getting out of his own ultimate. Things like that can see be him just yet. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Here. God Quai coming in with them. Double buffs looking for Ramane flashing forward. Flag, drag, auto attack. And it's going to be first blood for mission. A very good flash from God Quai to get himself out just towards the end of that. can jump off, but he goes forwards himself. All right, gets the charm out. Look for the Soraka first. Oh, he's killed the healer. And they pull back with feathers with the blade storm. And now Yatari Mayashi trapped Run inside the pit. Tussle is here just way too late. And Kai Wing is able to secure that kill. Now Tussle finds himself without any friend. Oh, no. Under the tower they go, and it's unified, flashing forward. Kill number two. And God quite tanking for him all the while. Actually, for just a second. 
short window, and now it looks like Hong Kong Esports oh, want to make the play. Oh, they've trapped Yutari Mayachi, forced to burn his flash, and unified with some serious damage, but do they have enough to finish Tussle? They do as a pair of teleports coming in. One will get canceled in for round number two. He would need a Miracle Steal, but Hong Kong Attitude not going to give him the opportunity. Shockwave does bring in Kai Wing. He's able to make his escape, and a hero's entrance comes in as Rearus tags his way forward. Tussle narrowly escaping Rearus, trying for the shield of Durand, and it just deters Rampage any further. They have not lost a man just yet. And Heavy trying to push them back, and Rearus tanking on the front line down. A lot of health, so ultimately I feel like that's just where it's going to subside, but they stay around. They Rampage. Base. Oh no, they cut Dara and deleted him. Unified, he took some damage for that so one. Kaiwing has a lot of shields. Rearus is very tanky, and they got the extra kill. So Evi dies, Dara dies, and because Dara's dead, he's not a teleporting yeah. member on the team. Separation, it's a 14k gold lead, and they're still not fighting. How about that for some Hong Kong attitude, and God quite hopping in for the dunk to get this fight started off right. Ramane down, followed by Evi. God quite gets knocked back, but it doesn't mean a damn thing. Down goes Tussle. That's the double kill for the Hong Kong attitude jungler. And they are looking to try and close this one out. It is only the bot lane remaining. Yeah, they want to end the game right now, Pyro. And it looks like it's going to be the perfect game. Rearus is going to back and teleport right on top of it. They are not giving a chance for Rampage to get anything. Down goes Dara. Yutari, no, it's going to be unified. He would. He gives them the kill. No perfect game for Hong Kong Attitude, but it doesn't matter. As Yutori Mayashi goes back in, it's going to be the ace. 12 to 1 is the kills. 9 to 0 is the towers. And down goes the Nexus. Hong Kong Attitude making a big statement in game number one to close things out. And welcome to World Rampage. Meet your maker. And meet they did. Not a whole lot of time to greet, though. That one ended in 25 and a half minutes. So Hong Kong Attitude, well, they're certainly looking good going into their following games. And I think their logo is very appropriate for what they just did, styling on Rampage. There's certainly a lot of attitude in the way they're playing. But most importantly, there was a lot of control, a lot of reservations, and a lot of clean macro play coming out of the side. Maybe the expectations for them being the third representative of the LMS weren't all that high. All we've ever known is Flash Wolves and AHQ. Well, there's a third team in town, and based off this game alone, my god, do they look good. Oh, yeah. We even heard from some analysts saying that they might even be better than the likes of AHQ, and it's hard to believe that when you look at a team that, you know, kind of just edges into their... Uh... ...the champion that we mentioned that's locked in last, pretty good into the Rise matchup. Yeah, well, Plugo, he definitely has the experience come to bear now. Speaking of experience, they have got to be careful. The level two gank of the Elise Reckless, he might have to burn flash. Oh, the heal is already spent, and he just keeps the cocoon. Doesn't need to spend for that. The teleport coming in, flash away from Deerwolf. And do they have the damage? They do with the last feather. It's Reckless picking up first blood, four summoners to get away, turn it back around. And Broxen now looking towards mid lane. Uh-oh, Cassio put into rune prison. Plugo, he's trying to slither away, but nothing for him to do. And that's going to be Broxen picking up a kill. Can't catch a break, man. Everywhere he goes, Brox is there. Cocoon comes out. He's already down to half his health. Still Watching the level advantage. And waiting. Uh, Plugo's actually back. got the collapse. Uh-oh, well, Bro Broxen might have gone a little too far forward. He flashes. Caps is coming in. Let's see if they can get the kill, though. That's a lot of damage out oh. of Caps. Woo! Mid lane and jungle both going down, and TP's canceled. They're looking. Looks finally comes out. Oh, he's going to try to get Tearwolf out on this one. Spike goes down. They're going to look to transfer it over. Slow and Fix coming Send in. And now Mataraya. Let's oh. see. wants to get the bowling ball going. And now Fix has tagged his way in. And all of a sudden, we've got a real scrap in this river with Mataraya getting the first kill out. Jezz's, he nearly falls down, but the heroic entrance comes, comes out. Directly. And they turn it right back around, baby. KLG running for their lives without Tearwolf. Rox is already down. Oh, they it's still want this. But they're going to keep on going. Soaz looking for the shield. And the feather storm comes out. Right into the taunt. Soaz getting one. They're going to look for more. Reckless has two. And Plugo trying desperately to slither away. Forcing to flash. And Caps is still on the chase. He goes Oh, no, forward. he missed. Misses a Q. Goes for one more. Room prison under the tower. And Caps is going to be able to secure it. Actually gets the bottom. All together here. Let's see if they can stay alive, though. Reckless Jezz is they're gonna go for the charm play, and in comes Broxa, forcing the jump out of fix, leaving his support for dead. And Broxa was not done with that Tristana. Down he goes. Now Montaraya and Slow here trying where to, to go. Airwolf's there, but I don't think they've got a whole lot of damage to work with Slow. He keeps getting those massive knockups, but there's no backup damage as Caps gets the cow. Looking for Montaraya, Reckless. He's even gonna stay alive. And the rest of Kale. All right, Caps, let's see if he can go for the 1v2 here. Well, they're already taking a little low, and he's grounded. 
He's able to walk back to Broxa though, and in goes slow, forced the flash out. Oh, they're, in they're gonna turn right back around. It's Broxa with the start up of the kill, and slow nowhere for him to go. As he stopped up for just a second, Monteraya is gonna save him. themselves the Baron. There's the two Sky Absorbs at the same time. Even the synergy there is removed from KLG but there's no chance to get to the pit. Yeah, they still got so We are seeing a lot of overexertion from Fnatic. You feel like they're far enough ahead that they can afford to do so, but that last dive in the top lane did expend a fair amount of resources. You can see so as he didn't get the charms exactly where he wanted to, or the sun, whoa, they just go right on in, and it's Caps coming up with kill number one. Now all of a sudden, KLG find themselves only- An opportunity, with... because Jessus is now looking to kill slow. Yeah, never just gonna be one, and they turn- And the Galio! Donna looking for fixing. Oh, it's a hero's entrance, and Slow is left for dead. Soaz going right into the back line, and Fnatic, one, two, three, looking to clean house. That's a double kill for Caps. They keep on chasing all the way back to Fountain. Get in the room, Prison. And down he goes, Fnatic inside this base, as Mantaraya just trying to tank up Jez's. But meanwhile, this base is going to fall to shambles. I mean, if you're Caps right now, you use your ultimate, you bring some minions to the Nexus, and you end the game immediately, but it looks like Mid lane inhibitor should still be enough time. They've got four members dead. Fnatic should be able to take this game down and cleanly destroy Chaos Lightning Gamers. Man, Hong Kong attitude. I thought they had a fast one at 25 and a half minutes, but Fnatic are looking to beat that by a good 60 seconds. Mantaraya is up, so is slow, but it doesn't even matter. Down goes the Nexus and Fnatic with a commanding game one victory. Reckless and Caps both did not die, nor so as fantastic performance from the European side here of Fnatic and the third seeds that are coming in from the major regions. They are a daunting opponent for anyone to go up against. That proves true for groups A, B, C, and now D. Yeah, we are four for four. Definitely a different caliber of opponent for some of these emerging regions to face, and they have seriously had a wake-up call, but Fnatic all smiles for this team as they walk off with a big victory. Remember, Many of these guys missed out on Worlds last year. This is their chance to try and make up for lost time. I do respect that KLG were excited to play against Fnatic, but you could also see the high spirits of knowing that it may not have been the game that they thought they could win. Up of the Gragas. And then finally locking in the Syndra for Frozen in the mid lane, giving him that counter pick. You said it, Zymeen. They want to get Frozen ahead. Where with Godquai, now they get to take some of it away. And Frozen, too aggressive. Good flash away from Frozen, but Godquai's gonna follow him up, and here comes Mission. They're looking for the first blood, the heal. Frozen dodging around, unleash power, the Phosphorus bomb to the face! And that is a very dead throw. Two minions left, they gotta be able to engage and kill this at the same time. There is the charm onto Ruiz, gonna get the knockup as well. Root onto Padanis, he's caught out. Crash there as well. Ruiz going low, the explosive shot, the knock back, and this should be a dead tree. Rift Tower falls off towards the top side. Padan jumps in once again, but again the engage. Crash gets the kill, 1-1. One, one. Right. Looking for the engage, they're onto the Syndra. HKA can smell blood, they Malka. can taste it. Malka gets in, Galio. jump in, but here comes Ganyo crashing down on the dead jungler. A kill on the Malka. A four-man talk, and now it's up to Patton. Double kill, looking for more. He jumps up to Kai Wing. The root, not quite going to be enough to take him down. Mission signing it back around, and Japone gets the knockoff. Doldrum with a kill. Mission takes down one, but he can't quite get onto the AD carry, and now it's cleanup crew. Waiting for Frozen. cooldowns. They're waiting for cooldowns. Just needs to get the cooldowns down. Mission does not have flash, does not have Stonebree, does not have a hope of getting away. He goes down, Frozen with the kill. Japone, he hasn't had much in terms of engage. Is this it here? Quickness jumps in, here comes the Galio as well, the knockback, that's a Janna, they're trying to catch up, they get the kill, Padden gets it, and there's the taunt as well, HKA are getting decimated, double for the Tristana, Frozen caught up towards the side, mission eventually that's takes it down, it's three for Padden, he's looking for more, he's looking for four, can he get the Penta? Rivis locks him up, it's 3v2, but Unify can pound down from the side here, Unify's gonna get one, not quite the he quadra for Padden, Prince to jump in, it is a quadra and an ace for Fenerbahce, and they're gonna be able to push down the mid here, they took yeah. out first. When usually the support's easy to get, but look at this. Jump onto mission, they're gonna try and lock him out. Japone is low, the Baron was started, mission knocked in. Bad Padden is a god like God quite chase off towards the side as well. The oh, Baron, oh, no Padden! What are you doing? That's not where you want to be! And Fenerbahce will get chased down here by Rivis. Doldrin is the target as Unified comes in. You've got an AD carry, he's safe. HKA, we've already killed him. Thaldrin's getting chased down. Ruiz jumps in. Another kill for Hong Kong. Attitude, and they're looking for the Baron. That he makes... does make mistakes. They're looking for the Baron now. HKA with four members, but crashes across the wall. Yeah, this is a four on three. 
Crash goes in. He, he got steals it. it. Fenerbahce with the comeback. The steal from Crash. He's going to get taken down. And now HKA might look for a further engage. Ruiz in the front line. Japone trying to get away. We'll get the knockoff and quickness up towards the top side. Does go down. But Fenerbahce still is. These turrets that are left open because of the numbers advantage. The Baron's still not only a gift for Fenerbahce, oh, but a gift as they engage. Frozen gets the kill as well. And here comes Doldrin. He's going to look for the taunt. Pulls Ruiz away from Patton. And now Patton can open up the big guns from the backside. Doldrin's going to jump in once again. A great blade caller back as Unified tries to get some damage down off his own. Patton, don't jump in. We've seen you know it. There's the Featherstorm. He oh, dies away. Pulls him back. He pulls Ruiz. He knocks him away as well with a buster shot. Patton can still do work. Doldrin can't quite get the taunt off. Unified will survive. And Fenerbahce are able to find themselves in a deficit once more. Is it another steal? Yeah, it's not going to go. Godquai's not going to do it. Godquai does not have a lot stopped actually there as HKA started up. There's no vision. There comes the long range totem. But is this too little too loud? Holy moly! Frozen steals it away. Japan's going to jump in. Here's Doldrin as well. Jumping down with the hero's entrance. And now HKA need to win this fight because otherwise they are done for. A four man taunt. Cannon. The knockback. The cats come out. But is it too little too late for HKA? A great route up. Godquai jumps onto Frozen. But it's the front line of Fenerbahce that are taking the damage. And it's the back. Line, they're dishing out for DPS. Patton jumps in. A double for Tristana. And Patton is on an absolute tear this game. That has to be it. Thaldring's dead. Maybe they can't close because Unify. Time to try and save his Nexus Towers. Can he do it? Crash has Flash and he has Cask. He could engage if he wanted. Unified has nothing to stop it. We're looking for the Flash. Cask from Crash. He jumps in. That's a dead Zyre as Frozen takes him out. Fenerbahce going to close out this game. It's a 50 minute classic but Fenerbahce stamp their mark on group D. Fenerbahce get the first upset of the tournament taking down and giving the pool one seed their very first loss. And what a way to do it Zyrene held on to hope for so long that game able to finally secure it with some great engages two balance steals as well one from a Syndra that is a way to take your debut game in, in Wuhan for Worlds 2017. Yeah, and having even a chrono break in the middle, you have to stay focused. Don't drop anything. Stay alert. That's exactly what they did. It didn't matter that they had an emergency sub. They were able to play as a team, get an advantage over the number one. You just a, a smidgen more damage in that mid lane, Zyrene. Yeah, it's interesting as well, because LeBlanc was a champion that, nope, Popped up again after he does a lot of damage. Uh, so as respecting the fact that that Nidalee could burst him down, here's the unleashed power onto Caps. Jumps away, the flash oh. by Noor. Caps is clapped in the mid lane by Noor. Solo kill by Noor. The aggressive play that we were looking to see. There's the Chen of Corruption, there's the charm, there's the quickness, there's the jump in. Broxa joins the fray as well. That is a very dead Draven. Four man bottom, didn't need it. Right Go for the second clap. The ward there actually spots them as they come around. Caps knocked back. Flash hook. Pallet. That's another kill onto Caps. Pallet will secure it. TP coming in from Soas to try and save the tower. Have you opened up. Well, look at this. I talked about the lack of flashes earlier. They're going to go for it now. Doesn't quite get the connection. Explosive cast knocks him back, but the charm is going to land in the end as Big Coral caught up, overextended in the top lane, and will eventually fall to Brock. From Reckless. He's got a hook onto Boxer as well. The chain of crops is going to come down. There's the quickness from Jezus as he tries to lock him up. Caps jumps in, but knocked back by Ren. Good body buff from him. Jezus goes low. Big Koro is now opening up the axes. He's chucking them into the back of Soas and secures himself a kill. I think I saw 329 extra Ren is there. It's a bait. Ren still has body slam flash. Oh, Pallet! Flash from Pallet. Broxer gets body bopped up. Noor's gonna get the scatter of the week as well, and that is a very dead Sejuani. They killed the jungler, they killed Caps the top. They killed the hopes of EU. Caps jumping in. Here goes Jezus as well. Baron down to 2,000. Ren gets jumped out of the pit. The Baron falls. It's gone to Young Generation, and they've still got members alive. Jezus is low, low, but three members have died, and it's only Noor and Ren who will escape to the backside. Doing a great job of keeping Fnatic alive. Fnatic actually going to chase back onto Venus, but this is an inhibitor gone for Fnatic. They will get a kill onto the Nidalee, but how much have they lost for this? Venus is still escaping. Eventually, oh, they'll him, but he's going to get away. Not As we're coming into this game, we talked about compositions. We said, so as my oh, call out in the top lane, Pallet comes in, but here is the damage from the Unleashed Power. So as flashes oh. the wall, but you cannot flash away from the biggest Koro on Young Generation. Looking for the Fnatic Brush. 
Gonna see if they can set up around Young Generation. Here they go from the side box, they jumped in, looking for Pallet, that threat. Still very tanky though, as they knock Fnatic back. Young Generation perhaps want to re-engage now as Ren goes to the front line. A charm from Jez, there's a five-man charm, the knock-up. Big Car is still alive and he's gonna pound away on Caps. Ren dead, two dead from Young Generation. Fnatic able to collapse, able to get the fight. Stopping beating there, they were going into a sister leave, but the diagnosis was death. For Ren as Pallet and him died in that last fight. The Baron for Fnatic will be secured and they will be able to look to push towards the base of Young Generation. Flank in the TP that could come in from Caps. Whoa, back with the scout no. of the Unleashed power! Blasted! There is a new fragrance on Summoner's Rift. It's bodied by Norl in this <laughs> go vision. Here comes Ren. The chain's gonna land, but Ren jumps straight in, knocks Reckless in the wrong way, and now Ren is actually caught off at the back. Young Generation trying to get to their top laner, but he is left out to dry. Reckless gets the kill. Caps jumps onto Big Co, double chains, but Big Co turns it right back around in his face. Caps off towards the side, looking for the flank. Once Fnatic jumps in with the Banshees, but here comes the Unleashed Oh power. my god! Caps, Stand United just saves him though. And still Fnatic on the Baron. Are they gonna do this? Because Caps has TP. Caps come back. Here comes Slow as he's Venus teleported in. Spirit, 2 going in. HP. Venus jumps in, but they target him down. And he doesn't quite get in as Props to secure it. Now Fnatic still looking for the fight as Pallet perhaps is caught out here. Caps coming in with the teleport and Pallet knocked up. He's gonna get taken down as well. The stun into the damage from Reckless. A kill for Fnatic about for the audience. Not completely, not completely. They're walking away. Venus is now, they're gonna try to burst it. Venus can't quite get there. Broxa does secure it. And now Soez is looking for the flank. Has the flash, has the taunt. Three members of Young Generation lining up for him. Caps lands the chains onto Norl, and there's the taunt. That is a shutdown on to the Syndra and Young Generation. Just able to escape from Jez's caps. Still has that flank position. Koro, Zonyas keeps him alive, but Koro will escape to the top. Down to 6,000. He's looking for the steal. Jez's. They're in the front line. That's going to be a Baron for Fnatic. Great play from them to pull apart Young Generation's defense. Yeah. Jump away from Caps. And now we'll see Fnatic go for a fight on the other side. Chain of Corruption lands. There's a Glacial Prism as well. All onto Pallet. So it goes in. Jezzes trying to connect. Blue Inhibitors dies in the bottom lane as Caps so takes it down. Now he's going to join the fight. So it's a great form. Oh, and and the power kills Reckless. But Caps is just going for the Nexus Towers here. Fnatic have been forced back. Caps looking to see if he can win this game. Yeah, they got to stop him on these Nexus turrets. They might lose one here with the damage from the meat from the creeps. Venus getting pulled in from Pallet, and he snaps back to try to finish it, and Noor! He gets it, can't quite take down Noor though, and Ren doesn't land Ooh. the body slam, but the stun does go back! Caps jumps in with the Zonyas, but Fnatic have lost their two carries now, and Young Generation have held on to this game! They lost, they're gonna try to end, they no are done with this game! No way, Zyrene, do they close this out? Chain of Corruption comes in, Fnatic trying to fight it back, Young Generation still alive, Big Koro is they down into damage. the GA, Ren's there, they don't have any more damage, Noor trying to do what he can, Big Koro survives the McHugh, Simitar the knockback onto Proxa, a great locket though, and Pallet lands the hook. Young Generation realize they can't do it because Caps is respawning. Fnatic arms up to Ren to try and dodge around. The chains connect and Caps jumps in. Goodbye, Ren, says Caps, as eventually he will get the kill on towards this grab. Keeping it's him alive delaying. for as long as possible to delay his death timer. This means that he's stuck and now it's not already ticking. He wanted to die a little earlier than this. Will eventually go down though. Caps does secure the kill. Swapped out for Death Dance for Big Coral. It's up to him, it's up to Norn, it's up to Venus who has a death cap of his own. The knockback minion's not quite there. The stun though is gonna land onto Venus. Big Coro chased off towards the side. There's the charm. The Cure Scimitar a little bit too early, but it's still Big Coro surviving. So as so not reckless ending the game. Unleashed Tower Reckless says, I don't care about your kills. I want a Nexus. The best 50 gold he secured this game. Reckless ends the game with the team pushing forward and really the team play there from Fnatic to understand what to do once their enemy had misplayed. The fact that they tried to end the game, Young Generation got too greedy. They pushed up with an Elder Dragon spawning. They could have reset and Fnatic said, uh-uh, we're gonna run you down mid. We're gonna set up and they caught Ren. It may not be the uh, the victory screen for Young Generation, but they can take a huge amount of hope from that game as well. Pushing Fnatic to 52 minutes in a game where they had a composition that seemed to fall. And there we go. You're on form, Zymin. Great predictions throughout the end of that draft. Any predictions for me on how these compositions are going to match up? This is a Trident attack. They're coming from 
three different angles. Absolutely. That's a long route. The route lands. Here comes Frozen as well. The flash away, but the route is going to hit once again, and that's just first blood for Fenerbahce in the mid lane. Yeah, that is a fantastic trident attack with Thaldren, Frozen, and Crash all as shown. well. We'll look for the engage. There's the knock-up. Double knock. Back towards Crash. But Crash is oh, Tussle ulti. Away. Tussle ulti's underneath the turret. The explosive cast the kill as well with the unleashed power. Fenerbahce get their second kill on the book. Got back. Lose some CS to the turret. Thaldren. Gonna snap magic, try and get some health back. Pops down the nature's grasp as well, but it's a good dive from Rampage. As Tussle gets his first assist on the board. And Rampage. More members here on the bottom side. And now they have Syndra coming down too. This will be a four on two. There's so much damage coming out from Pattern. 2.2 attack speed. Oh, at Frozen. 18 minutes. Frozen's gonna get onto Yutomi Mayashi, but doesn't have the damage. Stun. The knockback, the heal. He does get the kill. That's the reason he is the person to watch in this team. Frozen. Down to mid lane priority. Frozen had mid lane priority. Came down to the bottom side. And then he was able to make that play happen and get those two kills. Whereas Thaldrin here. No push it did. for him. Tussle's on the chase, but he does manage to heal away the sap magic. But there's the Nami to the wall. Evie gets a kill for himself. It's two for Rampage overall, but Evie is just getting absolutely shredded by Padden. The engage from Crass. Rampage have to flash away. And Fernabache are in the trap. Yet yeah. Yutori Moyashi on the other side does have an Infinity Edge. He's frozen. Tussle goes down to half. Dama, another wow. great wild growth. Japone is showing us exactly how to beat an Alistair on this Lulu. They do lose one though, and now we're going to see Rampage continue the chase. Voidus comes out, slows them up. And Rampage will not be able to get anything. For a bit until he runs up here. Uh, he's starting up the Baron, that's questionable. Oh, wait, Frozen. Frozen took a blast cone. Frozen what? got caught out. Ramune gets the kill, and now Rampage are right back in this game. A thousand gold between the two teams, and this is where you start up the Baron. Padden and Chapone still alive. Exhaust up on the support. Heal, flash on the Cogmore as well. And Evie's about to transform. This is exactly where you want to be with the Meganar. I feel like if you can see this, whoa, he smited it for HP. They're not actually doing it. They, they just want to fight. Can't quite get the warp. Here's the Nature's Grasp as well from Thor. The Rune! Padden with a huge amount of deeds, but there's the knockout. Padden still the coming combat! through. It's a double, it's a triple. He's going to get the Quadra as well as the Alistair Falls. He's having beef for dinner tonight. They're going to give him the Penta. Trying to jump across the wall, Thaldrin with the chase, Patton can't quite get it, the knockdown onto Ramune, there's the root, there's the Pentacog more for Fenerbahce. If you're going to remember anything about Patton, erase the brain, put this in there, that Pentakill, 3v5 in the Baron Pit, Thaldrin with the glorious nature's grasp, that is what you want to see from a team captain. Superb play by Fenerbahce. Pulverize from Dara comes in. The slam from Thaldrin stops it. And that ends up being a fan even harder to shut him down. And that's how you make that snowball happen even further. Lakes caught. Let's see what happens. There's the wild growth, but Evie gets shredded Woo! down. That's a legendary Cogmo. And now Patton's just opening up the big guns. He's going to get onto Tussle as well. It's a double looking for his second Penta of the game. Oh no, my no God. Dara, but Ramune and Yutori Mayashi are not going to give it up. Get in the fountain. Get in the fountain, boys. Rampage. You see, they're just trying to take care of business here. Make it fast, Patton. Walk it forward, but that's going to be the next. That is so quick. What an impressive performance from Fenerbahce. What an impressive performance from their bottom lane as well. Patton trying to get on towards the founding, but that is the Nexus, and that's Fenerbahce going 2 0 up. And ending the first day at 2 0 at the top of Group D. This group was up in the air. We had some people saying Rampage, some people saying HKA, and others, the whispers, 1907 Fenerbahce, are now shouts. They'll be screaming their name right now. Incredible performance by them. Of course, commiserations to Rampage, who are looking like they're, they're going to be the third seed in their group. They're going to get placed last. They obviously still have two games to try and fight back. And if they do manage that, they can definitely challenge. Just haven't seen enough.